Hey, what's going on? It's Tony Kress here, coming at you with week three of the four-week workout plan. Uh, this week, we're gonna focus on five exercises uh, that are gonna kind of just rip, start ripping you up a lot here. So the first one's gonna be a kettlebell swing. Second one is going to be a golf swing. Third one is going to be a walkout push-up, and then we have some form of a row, and then squat jumps. Uh, we're gonna do these the same as we've been doing the other the other weeks where it's going to be three or four sets of each of the exercises uh, and then I'll tell you what the rep range is for each exercise. So first off we're going to start with the kettlebell swing and this is a kettlebell. Uh, looks kind of funny. You can, if you don't have access to these you can do the same thing with the dumbbell and basically you can just kind of cup the dumbbell's handle like this and hold it that way with each of the big sides on, on either end of your hand. Um, and it's basically the same thing. But what you're going to do here with the kettlebell, you're going to hold it kind of lax here in front of you. You're going to sit, put this right in between your legs, sit, and you're going to thrust with your hips up. And then momentum will bring your arms up with it. Here, sit here. And you want to get some sort of explosive movement here. Don't go over here with your back. Don't round it. You want to stay straight up here to here. And depending on the weight you got, you're going to do somewhere between 15 and 25 of those. Uh, the next thing we have is a golf swing. Let me get a dumbbell for you here. Same thing here. This is how you, hold, you would hold the dumbbell with the, with the kettlebell swing, just like this. Um, but a golf swing, what we have, you're going to start on one side here. You're going to twist your hips and bring your arms up and have full extension of your calf, your ankle, your knee, and your hip right to here. So you're back down, bend a little bit, swing up. A little bit down and swing up. Here to here. This one you're going to do 10 reps on each side, I would say. And then we have a walkout push-up after that. Basically all you're doing, this is going to help work on flexibility and stabilization here. But you're going to start with your feet together. You're going to try and touch the floor right in front of you. Then all you're going to do is walk out with your hands. Walk out with your hands. Perfect push-up position. Push up. Walk back. Stand all the way up. Back down again. Walk out with your hands. Push up position. Walk back. Then the next thing we have is a, as long as you can get some sort of row in here, we'll be good. So I'm going to show you two on this machine. Any, any, people's gyms will have different versions of this machine, or it'll be a seated row or something standing. Just somewhere to where you're actually pulling back behind you. So the first one I'll show you, I'm just going to grab these and not sit in the actual seat. I'm going to pull these back. If you want to work on some stabilization while you're at it, try not to lean back on that and just sit. But if you want to sit and lean back, that's fine too. And all you're going to do here is palms facing down. As you come up, bring your elbows into your sides and behind you, and then palms are facing in. So palms down here, palms in here. You're going to do relatively heavy weight to where 8 to 12 is a good rep range for you. The other row that I'll show you here is kind of, it's called a step back row. You're not going to be able to see my face. But all you're going to do, get bent a little bit, step back and row. Bend, step back and row. Here to here. I believe that's four. Uh, the last exercise we got for this week is squat jumps. Uh, it, we incorporated this in week one with the burpees push-up squat, squat jump. But right now we're just concentrating on the actual jump. So you're going to get your feet shoulder width apart here. You're going to sit. And all you're going to do is jump as high as you can. You can swing your arms. If you want to make it harder, put your arms behind your back. But you're going to swing your arms, sit down, swing your arms, and as high as you can go every time. And it's continuous. So you're going to do... Mm, Let's say somewhere around 10 of those. 
So, we just went through the exercises for this week. Kettlebell, kettlebell swing, golf swing with a dumbbell, the walkout push-up, some form of row, and then squat jumps. And we're actually encompassing every body part in that. So, that's going to be it for week three. And uh, hopefully this week's going to be good for you too. And then we'll follow up this week with uh, the final week. So, come check us out on TonyCrest.com. And uh, this workout will be up there for you to watch on that and refer back to. See ya.